How does that happen? The big issue is they changed the Florida Builder Code oh, back in 2003. Oh. So any home built after 2003 typically has roof-to-wall attachments, also known as hurricane straps or hurricane clips, okay. Okay. and they'll be up the code. But okay. anything built before 2003 was built underneath the old Florida, Florida Home Builder Code. Oh, okay. Homes okay. built under the old Florida Builder Code were typically only installed with a metal connector with two nails in every strap. With the new code requiring three nails, a lot of our homeowners find themselves not up to code, and the insurance companies mm -hmm. take advantage of that oh. and don't give them the proper credits and discounts that they should receive for the home. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I'm from Connecticut, so I didn't um, realize that was a thing. But honestly, 2003 prior, it's not an old inventory. It's not, and there's neighborhoods so, full of homes built from the 50s, the 60s, yeah, the so, 70s, the 80s. You know, uh, so I'm 90s. surprised that wasn't done sooner with just with the history of you know Florida and hurricanes. Well, and those codes are updated periodically too, yes? They are. What happened was when Hurricane Andrew went through in 92, there was a lot of devastation, right, yeah. and they were putting connectors in homes out of good practice before then, and the ones that had them did better than the ones that didn't. Okay, so, so they actually made a code after Hurricane Andrew for a connector with two nails mm -hmm. following in 90, 1994. Later in 2003, that was updated from two nails to three nails. Okay. So you'll often find homes with these connectors that don't have the right amount of nail count in order okay. to qualify. Right. Can that be fixed? That can after be corrected. That? Okay. that can be corrected through the attic most times. Um, if not, we can also do the soffit. Or we can do it when you're getting a new roof as well. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Good. Very good. So then the appropriate time to bring in a partner like Brian, when does that really occur, Calvin? Um, when we go out and we discover that the customers don't have it, or if we know that the home is built prior to 2003, then we pretty much um, have that expectation that it might not uh, meet the code because a lot of times builders and stuff would only meet or build just the basic requirements mm -hmm. at that particular time. Also what we do, we do find properties built after 2003 with the straps and, 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 and the spacing of the straps. Okay. That's an issue. So sometimes you have a house that's built with the code three nails, but then the strap has too, is too far away from the truss itself. And that also oh. would hurt your discount. Correct. Yeah, as as and, a contractor, I've seen that often where yeah. they, they set the straps along, across the top of the wall. When they pour the concrete to make it a solid concrete beam, the concrete will shift the strap a little bit. Oh. They come to place the truss, the trusses have to go where they're supposed to go, and the strap is a little bit away. So they end up bending the strap. Oh. The truss can lift back up to the strap. So if there's more than a half inch gap where the strap connects to each truss, mm -hmm. that strap doesn't qualify it actually. So then it just yeah, ruins the whole integrity of it. It's like putting a solar panel in the wrong spot. There you right. go. There you go. So Put it in issue. Yeah. When does the wind mitigation happen when someone calls you for a home inspection? Like what's the process Right. Now? Okay. So so basically they, the um, homeowner would call me for the home inspection mm -hmm. and, or wind mitigation report right. and I go up and edit and I take the photos. <laughs> if I see anything where it disqualifies for the credit where they might have think felt as though they had it, then that's where I would call Brian in, mm -hmm. and Brian would come out and then um, bring it up to code. He would give it, you know, first give the homeowner a, a cost estimate, mm -hmm. and then he would bring it up to code, you know, based on, based on that estimate. Okay. This not only adds value and security to the home, but it also can often give homeowners a huge savings off their insurance. Right. By simply adding this third nail, I've had customers who have saved thousands off oh. their policy. That's we'll take crazy. them from $5,000 down to $3,000. I've had people go from six thousand dollars down to twenty five hundred dollars. Wow. So everyone should be doing a wind mitigation. Right. Okay. And how Absolutely. often should they be doing a wind mitigation? Do you think? Well, well go ahead. Every, every five years, okay. you have to get a wind mitigation report. The state of Florida has set forth a uniform wind mitigation report okay. form. So it's like it's a standard form. form. Yeah. It's only good for five years. Even if your home was just built this year, 2023, in five years from now, you're going to have to get a new wind mitigation report. Okay. So it just required. verifies the age okay. of your roof, your, your glazed openings, your windows, your hurricane shutters, and then also your roof-to-wall connectors. Okay. Now, is that something that, and I know this is just the ignorance of, of this field for me, but is that something that if you've had a re-roof done, is that something that your insurance company automatically does? Your insurance company won't typically get involved in connecting the connectors during a re-roof. When you're getting a new roof done, the county now requires a contractor signs off an affidavit oh, that, okay. Okay. that the connectors have been updated. Oh, okay. So there's two different there's two different um, entities here. But it is required. It is. So, so you have you have insurance companies requiring wind mitigation reports, okay. and you have when you get a new roof, you have the county. So not necessarily the bank part. So if someone's different. doing cash, they may not know the importance of doing.